Hi, this is Mark for Ableton Daily, and today I wanted to talk about creating live set templates. Now, some of you already know what this is all about. Uh, for those of you that don't know, a very basic way to explain this, if you are used to having live a certain way, if, if you like to adjust, uh, you know, create audio tracks every time you open up live, if you like the in and outputs opened, or if you like the delay sectioned, if you use these a lot and you would like them to appear each and every single time you open up live, you can save your live setup as a template. There's also other options. You can have the loop turned on. You can have the loop brace set at a certain point. So every single time you open up live, that loop brace will be exactly where you want it. Uh, you can have the metronome turned on so you can open up live, the metronome's turned on, you've got a track armed over here, you've got the delay set up over here, and a really cool thing is that you can actually have plugins inserted into tracks, and you can save all this as a template. It's not actually a project, it's just a set template. So every time you open up live, it's going to look exactly like the way you left it. It's right over here on the live menu, just go to preferences, and in the file and folder section, it's right up here on the top. Save current set as default. And there's a little save button. So here's what you do. Set up live the way you want it. If you don't want the plugins box open down here, then close it. You know, but if you like it open, then do that. If you're working a lot with audio, I don't know about you, but most of the time when I put audio clips onto a track, I normally will just put an EQ onto that track too because it'll never sound the way I want it. I always want to like uh, boost the lows or cut the highs or do something to it. So what I've done here is when I open up live for the very first time, I have an audio track and a MIDI track. But most importantly on this audio track, I have a utility plugin. This utility plugin is very useful. This way I don't have to automate the master volume or master level for this track, instead of automating this, I can automate the gain inside this utility plugin instead. That way I can still control the overall volume of the track. Now, I always add an EQ. So I like to have the EQ8 and also the EQ3, and I don't know which one I'm going to use, so I just drag both of these in here. And I like to have the EQ3 turned off, because normally I, I use the EQ8 mostly. So you can actually insert plugins onto different tracks. I can actually duplicate this track here, so I could just duplicate and have two audio tracks opened with plugins every single time I open up live. And so if we want to save this live set, all we got to do is come up here to Live, Preferences, again, and over here, File and Folder, Save Current Set as Default. I'll go ahead and click on Save. And then Overwrite the Template Set, yes. I'll go ahead and click OK. And there you go. I'll go ahead and close this. And now let's change everything here. Let's go ahead and delete this. And I'll delete this audio track and change a few things and now let's go ahead and now this is definitely uh, not a way that I would want to work uh, the way it is set up now but I'll just go ahead and close this out here uh, don't want to save so the next time I open up live let's see what's gonna happen here look at that we've got our two audio channels everything looks and is positioned in the exact same way as when I saved it as a live set template and this is very useful because some of the options in live that you like to use may not be opened up by default, uh, such as the delay section right here, which is uh, totally turned off by default. So let's say you wanted this turned on because you're doing some a lot of crazy delay stuff. Well, just turn it on, make sure this is visible here, and then go up to live, preferences, and then just save it part of your set. Save it and overwrite the template. The biggest one for me is probably going to be the plugins on the tracks because every time I open up live I like to just drag in some samples 
But before I created set templates, I would create a new audio track like this, and then I would go over here to the audio effects, come down here, drag in EQ8, drag in, uh, let's see, an utility, you know, because you're probably going to do some volume automation on this track anyway. So just go ahead and save a utility plugin with your set template. And uh, it could be anything else too. Let's just say that you're used to having compression on every track that you do. You have compression. Well, just go ahead and add a compressor. And you don't have to turn it on. So if you're not using it, it's not going to use your CPU. So you could drag all these in and then just turn them off. And then so they're not turned on, but they're there. So every time you want to have them on, you don't have to just keep dragging them into new tracks. You can just go ahead and click on the track and then just turn it on by pushing the button. So, and you could save multiple tracks. So you can have multiple audio tracks opened already for you before you even uh, open up live. It's already ready to go. So there you go. There's some uh, just some basic and some quick tips on saving set templates in live. This is Mark for Ableton Daily. Hey, if you like the videos, please subscribe and check out my YouTube channel for more videos on music and sound design with Ableton Live. Take care.